So we have about $16,000 in credit card debt, about $8,000 on a line of credit, and about $30,000 in a car loan. That comes to $54,000 that we owe other people. That really sucks. Well, when we were first married, um, we were just fresh out of school and so we had student loans and our jobs weren't the highest paying. So we kind of relied on credit a bit to make our lives comfortable. Probably not the wisest thing to do, um, but we didn't have kids at the time, so we always managed to sort of make sure that we had all our bills paid and uh, sort of made payments on our credit card, even though we didn't always pay it off. We definitely overspent, spent beyond our means. And now, 10 years down the road, we still didn't have kids, uh, but uh, we were doing a lot better, you know, we after working for so long, our salaries, you know, we got our pay raises and all that sort of business. Um, I'm a music teacher, so my um, studio, my sort of class of students was increasing, and so we were both doing well, and uh, finances were getting better. Um, and then my husband became a military chaplain, which meant we were going to be posted to somewhere not our home. Uh, and so with the sale of our house in Toronto, we also made a good chunk of money and were able to uh, pay off all our credit cards and um, student loans and, and our cars. So we were actually debt free for, I'd say, about three months. Um, now we have a little girl, a two-year-old, and we have another on the way. What happened was back last November, so I guess that would be about eight months ago, we, I, was in a car accident. And it was a write-off, even though it was really just a, a bumper, like a fender bender, but the impact was just enough to deploy the airbags, which meant my poor little um, Hyundai accent was a write-off, and we decided to look into getting a van. Um, now, I re one mistake that we made probably was that I we went to a dealer uh, and got the only van that was on the lot. And it was a nice van but it was definitely not in our price range, especially since I am now a stay-at-home mom. We did not have the funds to really handle it well. Um, we, we did have a decent down payment, but really we should have thought about just buying what we could put down in cash. So in hindsight, that probably wasn't the smartest move. Um, and I probably would never do that again. And then just this past March, uh, we had some friends over uh, for a visit uh, for a few weeks and, you know, wanting to be hospitable and show them uh, sort of the, the natural beauty around us here, we spent more money on hospitality, on sort of going out for food and tourism things probably again more than we needed to uh so by the end of march i realized uh oh we are 800 dollars short on our mortgage payment this month and we are not going to be able to yeah spend any money for anything <laughs> for food or anything for a week or so before my husband's next payday. Anyway, it uh, was very difficult to face the facts and accept that we are overspenders. Now, we had the line of credit, so we could find the funds, at least to 
make the mortgage payment uh, in that moment. But it was definitely a turning point uh, in our relationship with money. So I learned about Dave Ramsey and his uh, cash envelope system through a few YouTubers on um, who sort of talk about him a lot. And I thought it might be an interesting thing to look further into. Um, so I read his Total Money Makeover. And what attracted me about it was um, he's no nonsense. He sort of tells it like it is. But not only that, his system is very clear, practical, and um, actionable. Like his um, baby steps make very clear goals um, and realistic under a realistic understanding of really what we need in the future. Um, so it's not just living in the moment. I think what my problem and my husband's problem uh, was our relationship with money was very much in the moment and not really thinking about the future uh, and what money means for us down the road in the short term, in the long term, and in the really long term. So uh, that was the starting point um, after realizing we needed to make a serious change in our lifestyle and money choices. Um, second thing was learning how to budget. Um, it was easier before because my husband, as a, an Anglican parish priest, was paid once a month and I was paid months, once a month and all at the same time so we could just pay the bills all at once and then live the re off the rest for the rest of the month. Um, and now he gets paid once, twice a month and I don't get paid at all. Uh, so figuring out how to schedule bills and um, savings and spending is very different. And finally, um, learning to use a cash envelope system has been a paradigm shift as well. Um, both my husband and I relied on cards, um, just swipe and go. Um, and I'm sure many of us uh, are used to that, just being the way the banking system is these days. Um, but sort of going back to the basics and holding cash in your hand uh, has been a, definitely a paradigm shift for us. Now my husband still uses his debit card, um, but I made him open a separate checking account and he uses Mint, um, the cell phone app or Android app, to track his spending and it has sort of budgets uh, for his food, his coffee money, um, etc. So it's sort of like a cash system in that sense for him. Um, so, uh, and then for me to have the cash envelopes uh, to keep track of my household spending as well. Uh, I have already filmed a video uh, on our cash envelopes for August and you can, I'll leave a link below uh, for you to check that out. But yeah, so that's, that's where we are at right now. So I'd love to hear about your place, your, where, you, where are you at, at your, in your financial journey. Uh, we could all learn from one another what you are doing, what steps you are taking to um, become debt free or you are already debt free and how did you get there? Uh, I'd love to know. Um, so please leave comments down below. Uh, if you found this video at all insightful or interesting, uh, please like it and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.